this is another unboxing video. Uh, this is my second video. So, um, uh, actually, the ones in behind me uh, are from boxes that I just got as well. Uh, I just got this Thor 134, first appearance of uh, Ev High Evolutionary. This is probably going to be a really good uh, book to get. Oh, actually, let me bring it in here. So this one is. Um, this is probably going to be the plot line for the next uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie, where they're going to probably get into the story behind Rocket, Rocket Raccoon. So I, this is a strong recommendation to pick up this book. Uh, it's Thor 134. Really interesting book because it, it sort of uh, explains the origins of uh, sort of like uh, animals that have been mutated and... Uh, kind of evolved into these more sophisticated life forms and it sort of explains how rocket raccoon came into being not that rocket raccoon makes an appearance in this but the character the high evolutionary might have been the one who created the rocket raccoon so interesting story maybe major key okay but i'm going to do an unboxing video so there's all these packages that just came today and I'm going to open them up and see what's inside. So I'm expecting a bunch of stuff, so I have no idea what's going to be inside this. Uh, I collect a lot of interesting things. Some some PG, some not so PG. Uh, so let's see what's inside these. So let's do this first one. Okay, so... This is actually one of the first times when I actually open a box and it's not too complicated to open up. Okay, so this one is a uh, CGC 9.8 um, and it's um, the new uh, Red Goblin. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, this is Spider-Man uh, 798. Uh, I always like to get first appearances, and it's a newer comic, but um, I might as well, you know, I try to get it in a high grade. If you're going to buy a, a more modern comic, I always recommend buy the higher grade, because, uh, you know, they should be in high grade right now. Uh, the way people preserve comics, you know, you better get it in a high grade, so uh, it just, everyone's going to have it in the high grade. So if you have a lower grade, it's nobody's going to want it because it's just it's going to be one of those things where, you know, people are there's just so many high grades. Why would you get a low grade? <laughs> so I always recommend getting a little higher grade. Get the 9.8. It's in this case of the modern books. Uh, this is a really nice one to get. It's a really great cover. So I'm really happy with that. Get that nice, amazing Spider-Man 798. So what's the next one here? Uh, this is always tricky. I always have to open these up without like slicing myself or slicing the comic. Uh, Bit of a challenge. So, for those people that ship things, always try to avoid shipping where you type across the comic like this. It makes it really hard to open up. Oh, now this is not so PG. <laughs> Might have to censor this one a bit. Um, but this is a kind of a cool one. It's Zombie Tramp, and it's a Trump issue. <laughs> I guess he's kind of making fun of Trump, uh, and it's just it's just a fun comic. Uh, Zombie Tramp is this uh, uh, sort of prostitute plus zombie that goes around eating people. Uh, it's just a really fun comic. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Zombie Tramp. Uh, Dan Mendoza I met a couple times in uh, at Comic Cons. So uh, really great uh, artist and uh, just really fun kind of campy uh, comics. So I really am a big fan of Zombie Trap. 
want to put this over here. <laughs> so that's zombie tramp. It's a cool issue. Uh, and next one. Let's see what this is. Million things to open here. Okay, so oh, it's like so many layers. It's like those gifts that you have to keep on unwrapping. Okay, again, I have to be careful not to cut the comic. So I be really careful with these ones where it's like a million pieces of tape. Okay, I think I did that reasonably well. One more. Okay, let's see what we got here. So this is another one of those cases where the guy taped it inside. It's really hard to um, to basically get it off. So it's, oh, actually we did a couple of things. It'd be nice. This is kind of a nice trick. What he did is he folded the tape so it's a little easier to peel off. So I kind of give him kudos for that. Um, oh, more zombie tramp. So this is another zombie tramp with her, like, this is what's called a risque one. Again, I have to censor it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's another zombie tramp. I'm a big fan of zombie tramp. I'm trying to get the whole series. Uh, I'm only missing, like, a couple issues now. So this is just some more zombie tramp. So this is zombie tramp number 28, volume 3. So it's a, it's a more modern zombie tramp. So yeah, so that's that one. And next thing, let's see what we got here. Okay, another one of these ones where you gotta really be careful not to slice the comic. Uh. It's always a bit of a challenge to open up the mail. Okay. And, oh, okay. <laughs> this is not a super, super interesting one, but it's um, uh, Warlock, uh, Adam Warlock. Uh, and it's, this is an episode one where I think it's like uh, Pippin the Troll, or Pip the Troll, I should say. Uh, that makes his first appearance in this one. So it's just, it's kind of a, um, uh, a character that might come up in the future. Maybe it's going to be something. It's a bit of a spec book uh, because there is going to be an Adam storyline, uh, Adam Warlock storyline coming up in, in the next uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So this is a bit of a spec book. Uh, Pip the Troll is a bit of a character that uh, makes appearances. And this is his first appearance in Strange Tales 179. So, um, you know, Adam War Warlock is probably going to be a major character in the MCU. So, uh, you know, getting other associated kind of uh, first appearances might be kind of a cool thing to do. So I figured, hey, why not? Um, I'm really liking this character. Uh, the whole Adam Warlock character is kind of interesting. He's kind of like a good version of Thanos, I would be. I guess it would be a good way to describe him. He gets the Infinity Gauntlet at some point, and he gets the powers of the Infinity Gauntlet. So he's kind of a cool character. Really, one that you should check out is um, anything with Adam Warlock, first appearances of Adam Warlock. Definitely going to be a key character in the next Guardians of the Galaxy. So check him out. Okay, and last box here. Challenge. 
So a bit of a challenge to open this up. The camera kind of went weird there for a second. Uh, hopefully, the thing that I always consider a success when I ever open up any boxes from eBay is uh, is uh, uh, to just make sure that I don't slice myself in the process. Uh, so yeah, so um, that was my wife trying to come in. She doesn't really get the idea of like not coming in during when I'm recording a video, but here. Bit of a challenge. Open up this box. Oh, it's so crazy. It's a. Uh, going to be a slab. I'm not sure which one. So let's find out. It's really, really well wrapped. Uh, like 20 layers later later and like maybe get into the comic. It's going to be a slab of some kind. Let's find out what it is. Okay. And... Oh, okay. This is, it came really fast. I just ordered this. So this one is, um, this is the cheetah. Now she's going to be the main uh, villain. In the next Wonder Woman movie, so um, this is not her first appearance. Uh, her first appearance happens in an earlier Wonder Woman, um, but this is her first appearance as the Cheetah. Her name's Barbara Minerva. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is Wonder Woman number nine, I believe. Yeah, number one, Wonder Woman number nine. And it's the first appearance of Barbara Minerva as the cheetah. So this one has, has a lot of potential to become a fairly valuable comic because of the fact that uh, um, the movie's coming out hopefully soon. <laughs> I'm not sure when, but she's going to be the major villain in the, the movie. Um, she's also a very interesting character. She's actually, there's previous versions of the cheetah and it's always been sort of a nemesis of Wonder Woman. You know, she has kind of equal strength to Wonder Woman. And she's fast and agile and, and very dangerous uh, villain. So uh, just a very cool character. And this is her first appearance. Right now, you can actually pick up this book fairly cheaply. I think I paid like 30 bucks or maybe 50 bucks for this. It wasn't, it wasn't that expensive. Usually, you're paying a bit more just because it's in the slab. Whenever it's in the slab, you can always add about 20 bucks to the price. So you, um, you know. It is what it is because you know to get them thing the thing slabbed it usually costs about on average about thirty bucks so uh, you know you can sort of expect them to add that to the cost so I paid a, as I said about thirty to fifty bucks for this and uh, you know it's a, just a really great uh, comic because it's the first appearance of the cheetah the new cheetah so uh, yeah really cool so that's uh, Wonder Woman number nine. And that's it. That's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, actually, I'll put this up on my wall here. Wonder Woman. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Wonder Woman. So uh, you'll notice that a lot of my comics are the bad girls. Um, I was a big collector in the 90s and the, the bad girl uh, comics were really popular back then. So now that I'm back into uh, collecting comics again, I, I still like I'm a bit nostalgic to those old, you know, those bad girl kind of comics. So that's uh, Wonder Woman number nine. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, check out my other videos. I'm going to try to post more regularly and post more often. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Bye.